It's 10 o'clock, good morning, and uh, welcome to the year-end Seneca County Board of Commissioner meeting. Uh, today is December 28th, it's 10 a.m., regular board session, and we'll open with the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anybody? Sure. Okay. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, uh, please help guide us and bless us here as we go to discuss county business and the uh, betterment of our residents and community. Please help us to uh, uh, spread your word and your will, uh, work together here for accomplishments and to uh, get things done here for the betterment of Seneca County. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll call. Commissioner Paradiso? Here. Commissioner Chef? Present. Mr. Franker. Here. You can tell he was on the city council. <laughs> it's present. Yeah. Okay, I will accept the motion to approve the digital audio recording of our uh, previous board session uh, back on Thursday, December 21st, 2023. So move. Second, Commissioner Franker. All right, roll call. Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. So uh, we'll uh, have just brief commissioner reports, if that's okay, uh, Commissioner Franker. Uh, yeah, so uh, a few things that uh, spent a little time uh, uh, in the community uh, for NOAA on Sunday. That there, um, yes, yeah, Christmas Day, Christmas. Mon yeah, Monday Christmas was Day. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Day. Yeah, uh, served over 800 people and stuff on it. Uh, a great event. That uh, so we really enjoyed doing that. Um, met yesterday uh, with Brewer Garrett out to the juvenile center. Uh, they were there kind of working. They had a control guy there and kind of working and and uh, got up in the ceiling a little bit to check, you know, uh, valving and stuff on that. So thermal check out there? That's actually going to be next week. Okay. So they want kind of a little more of a temperature differential and stuff on that. Good. So kind of spent a couple hours out there uh, for them getting a computer and figuring things out. And there was uh, According to them, some hot moments and stuff on it. So I think they're finding some things that could be some uh, stuff that we put on there, target stuff with it. So yeah, and then this morning we had budget commission and uh, brings up to now. Okay, good. Commissioner. Thank you. Yeah, wrapping up year end stuff. Uh, appreciate you guys covering for me last week. I was sick there for about a good five days. Good, good to go, <laughs> good to go now there, Commissioner Paradiso. Okay, good. Um, we did have our TSEP board meeting. That would have been last Wednesday on the 20th. Got the budget to pass through that. And then we had like our holiday gathering. Uh, Commissioner Cranker and myself were there. Sherry showed up as well. But um, yeah, I've been out of commission here for four or five days. But uh, appreciate you guys covering that last meeting. So thank you. That's all I got. Good. Two things. Uh, uh, attended the uh, swearing in ceremony for our new Tiffin mayor, uh, Lee Wilkinson, last night. It was a great event. Gail was there, and uh, uh, yeah, Brent Howard swore him in, so it was Brent's last official uh, uh, duty there. And uh, looking forward to working with the, the new mayor and the new council and Tiffin, and uh, as we move forward. So congratulations uh, to Mayor uh, Mayor Dawn was there uh, and uh, others, so it was, it was kind of nice. So, uh, they're delivering the um, camper temporary vehicle. Uh, in Green Springs, as we said here, they showed up mm -hmm. at 9.30 today, um, and uh, that'll be where the EMS personnel stay for the month of January while we renovate the facility. Uh, we are taking over uh, 7 o'clock in the morning on January 1st. Uh, it's it's a little hectic, but we're going to be fine. Right, Barb? Yeah. And uh, um, so that's progressing. So uh, everything's everything's on track there. So that's just a little year-end discussion. Up to you. Back to you. I don't have anything to report at this time. Okay, so we have some new business. A little year-end cleanup, it appears. Yes. Okay. Um, general, and they are all year-end cleanup. So uh, general fund, uh, the group employee insurance for $46,707.19. Sales tax revenue fund uh, for the transfers out of $349,573.64. And the sales tax bond retirement fund, um, the interest they are giving back four cents. Um, those are all the supplemental appropriations. 
Okay. If there's no questions or comments, I'll make a motion to approve the supplemental appropriations as presented. I'll second. Um, roll call. Commissioner Frankert? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? <clears throat> yes. I do, before I forget, I would like just to let everyone know that Sewer District is being moved to the Auditor's Office effective the first of the year. Just want to make sure that everyone is aware of Public that. Public knows so, that. Yeah. Um, glad Great. you brought that up. Uh, <clears throat> our county auditors in the audience. Uh, any, you just came over to say hi and we <laughs> are back to the meeting, so we'll hurry up. Okay. I just didn't uh, know you guys were having a party here. We, we <laughs> just saw you. Yeah, so um, good. That's so good. Maybe real quick, Julie, if you can, uh, I know you put it out. How are they supposed to contact? What's what's the new transition starting on January 1st? Yes. So we have two media people here going to help okay, on this thank you. announcement. Thank you. So uh, there is a link on our website. Currently, it's not on the front page. So you'll have to go under, I believe it's the information tab, and scroll down, and it'll say sewer district. And that'll bring up the information concerning for folks who want to make online payments. Um, all of that should appear the same as they had done in the past. Um, worked with Charlene last week, and she was generating the uh, fourth quarter 23 bills that were going out, and uh, with a due date January 26th, maybe, whatever that last Friday of the month is. So <clears throat> all of that should have the current information for folks to contact our office and to return in the mail. Okay. With that. And we'll have signage in the building to direct for payments that they do need to come up to the auditor's office to make those payments. That, that, that building's going to get busier with uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. property taxes next year, sewer. Sewer? Is dog tags still going on yet? Correct. Dog yeah, tags. I think we're okay. close to 3,100 being issued. So we have a lot of faithful dog owners that have gone ahead and, and gotten their tags yeah. for their dogs. So still going to be at your office? The yeah. dog tags. Yeah. So uh, they can be obtained at the dog warden's office. Okay. I'm not sure of her schedule since there's just one individual she out there. Both places. Um, I just got a dog, so I just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she does have some tags that she can board. issue. Yeah. Our office or online, you can issue them there. Awesome. Or you can obtain it there. Okay, anything else? Any? Hey, just a question. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No good. Yeah. Just yeah. Add two quick things. Um, so that JDI group that Barb and I met with a few months back, and I wanted to just talk to you guys about this openly here, and we got Julie here, but did you get to see any of the drawings? No, or I didn't send them to Julie. I know we, we had a group just do some architectural drawings for the exterior of the building. Um, they didn't choose any prices or anything. No, but I just I, no. I figured we'd talk about it. I don't know if it's something we want to put up on the shelf or if it's something we want to investigate further, but I wanted I, to just talk about it. I think at this point in time, um, with the way the budget is with the ag building and the ems stations i think it needs to be pushed back until we get those projects completed okay. um or rounding the bend of getting them completed so that you know i'm, I'm not trying to you know circumvent the R, the re, rta building not getting anything but we know there's a lot of issues over there as well so we're we're trying to to do the best that we can with what we ha with the budget that we have so 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 the what you're referring to would be the exterior correct and the window so we are yeah we're looking at it from a and, and uh, uh julie brought up this morning we got to look at wi-fi in there mm -hmm. we're going to look at mm -hmm. uh heating controls yeah. er everything's being evaluated mm -hmm. but i do think even though it's not a priority we've taken it so we should have it a little more ready than we have it so if we could kind of pick out a you know we like this exterior Correct. and it, it could be ask for numbers maybe you know um get some numbers and that kind of thing and just park it it's not priority but it is it's on the here. list yeah but, it's and then when we have we have a new mayor we have the city we get, you know there might be a downtown grant there might be something comes up and then we're ready to move mm -hmm. on it. We don't have to have a meeting, and right. so I think I just want to leave her hanging out. No, right. I think that you, so right. we could do back. something. If you're, you know, we could talk about this next yeah. meeting, maybe not next meeting, but in well, the future, a couple yeah. meetings in out, future, yeah. yeah, and put it in our capital list. Mm -hmm. um, 
Because I think, I think the, do you have five minutes after the meeting, Julie? Yeah, getting back to the, the egg building there, especially with us just finding the AT building now could free up some but, but it look could how free up some cash, yes. And that's until mm -hmm. we figure out where we're at there and stuff on but it. The right. first, yeah, the first thing the USDA said is, do you have any, any drawings or anything? Right. And we sent them something, and it's not going to be that. But at least we were ready for right, it. Right, right. You know, and if we, they want to get a picture and so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's talk about that next time. Let's let's okay. settle in on something. Maybe get a guesstimate cost based on 2024. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't proposing that we start this next week. I just well, wanted to have the discussion, like, so I can answer yeah, her no, back. And well, then we've got that. You put that time in. We should. Yeah. yeah. Wrap it up. And yeah. Get a, yeah. Get a price on it. Yeah. I think it's good. Okay. Because right? so I think yeah. that's what we all we're all on the same page. If we this. start now, maybe Julie can host some chicken barbecues out there <laughs> and stuff on that. Then, right in the parking lot, Julie. Yeah, drive through chicken barbecues. <laughs> and, uh, we could do what the fair did. We just put we'll hang uh, signs up. We we'll put right. a fence up. <laughs> People can buy signs and we'll throw it all in the building fund. Well, I'm Speaks. sure they want to post signs. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of hanging signs, don't yeah. we? We need to talk to John about the banner thing for the bicentennial member the, to the county building to Susan's or yeah member. Yeah, I that's on the uh, your own just, next just came to mind. Yeah. yeah, get with Bryce and John. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm shifting that back to and, and Barb. I do have something to right. I just Coming back thought to it with John out to the OTB building. That I guess I didn't realize that there's some, still some records out there. Mm -hmm. The very top, there's a window that's out up there. So oh. a lot of stuff's in there. It don't have to be anything fancy, but we ought to just put a piece of plexiglass in or something like okay. that. Just keep birds and rain and everything out of it. I just Squirrels. seen that yesterday when I was leaving a, a juvenile center. So, yeah. I then I had a small, well, small request for you guys. On January 18th, we have a 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. meeting here, regular meeting. Um, the chamber is putting on a AI, artificial intelligence seminar I'd like to attend. Can we bump the meeting back one, no. hour, one hour? We have a bid opening bid that opening. day at 10 a.m. No, yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. No, it's all right. Yeah. Skip it. I, I mean, if, otherwise, he'll, I mean, if you want to go, I if, yeah, I don't have a problem. I mean, you can go. go. Come early, late, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Fine, go but go. we have a bid I mean, opening at 10 a.m. that yeah. morning. Okay. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good to. Yeah. Excuse me, yeah. Tyler. Um, you know, there might be value in in attending that, and then bringing back maybe it is other. Um, I'm planning on attending. Are you? So maybe it's other information that elected should be aware of her department. Something that could be utilized. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you and I can go to sit together. We're all looking at Sherry. Just to, you know. <laughs> I don't know what that I looks for, but, you know. <laughs> if it wasn't, there wasn't a meeting, I was going to ask if I could go. But yeah. There's a meeting. Yeah. So. Oh, because you'll be here. Right. Yeah. Got it. And by the way, while we're doing this, we're going to scold Bryce. Okay. He says there was, uh, it's 10 o'clock on Thursday. So, Bryce, we meet on Thursdays at 10 o'clock. Mm. Can you pick a different time? Right. Uh-huh. I'm seriously. They do that a lot. I'm just, just letting you know, Bryce. Have him read the, the tape. I mean, make it, <laughs> make, make it Wednesday. Make it something. But you can't make it 10 o'clock. you right. got, mm -hmm. this is just not going to happen. Even 9 would be better or 8, I don't know. No, even after would be better. In case it bleeds over, because, you know, you get done the meeting. Yeah, you exactly. have do it. They have a lot of things they on do. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but you can't do it Thursday right. morning. Oh, and just to bring you guys up to par real quick, we had the bicentennial meeting. Sorry, I know you, won't, you, know you wanted a five-minute <laughs> meeting, but that ain't going to happen. We had the bicentennial meeting here last week as well. Um, I had someone reach out to me about doing like a commemorative 200th anniversary coin for the bicentennial. The guy is actually, he mints and prints his own coins. He's out of Arizona. Um, but yeah, I guess they did a coin back for the centennial or the sesquicentennial. So the committee's looking into that as far as uh, hmm. printing something kind of commemorative. You can pre-place your order whether you want a silver coin, a copper. I mean, all the ones that are price point uh, affordable, and then ones that'll be more precious metals if you want that though. But um, kind, kind of cool. And I think we're gonna put it out to the public to maybe come up with like a potential design for one of the sides, get some local artists involved and let them kind of be a part of it. But. Hmm. Um, I thought they probably just want to use just a design they already come come up with, or they go to have that one side. And well, yeah, well, we could we could do the we could do the county slash bicentennial logo on one side, and then something else on the other. Yeah, we're we're trying to not make it about one place or town, or we're right. trying we're trying to come up with something kind of around the uh, county, county wide. Yeah, mm -hmm. so 
Oh, it was just it was kind of a good meeting, but the, this guy, he actually prints for the U.S. Mint. He prints for the state of Arizona. I mean, he's got. I mean, it's a legit yeah. process. Good. So kind of cool. Just all right, cool. we're we're closing public comment. We're closing all <laughs> comments. Meeting is adjourned. There.